What's up my fellow YouTubers? Today I'm gonna to show you how to change your um your trunk button as you can see it's not working and um it feels very loose so it's broken for sure so we're gonna to need to get inside to get to that so we're gonna start by taking off this panel right here we we'll need a flathead screwdriver I will try to see um, if there's a link to get it online. But I got this from the dealer, and the part number is somewhere in here. One of these numbers, I'm not sure, but there you go. Alright, so, um, we have some Phillips screws on the side right here. We got one right here. We need to take them out. Yeah. Got this one right here. can hold right here pull back and it will come down like this so as you can see um, the clips the clip is all broken because it's supposed to be the clip all right so and it's broken so we're gonna need to um, take out this little plate right here remove these three screw they probably seven millimeter, but I'm gonna double check to see what it is, what it really is. So yeah, guys, it's gonna be a 732 socket. Take this off. Our um 5.5 millimeter socket. Cause the five was too small and the six was too big, so it's 5.5. So you just need to take out all these two right here. Guys, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Help me help you. And my next video could be your next um your next my next video could be your next problem you facing on your car. So I know you guys request a lot of video, but I don't really get to choose what problem I work on and what problem the car gives so I'm sorry if I take a long time to, to get, fix a car that I have the problem you have clips around the screw you're gonna get the you're gonna pry it out a little bit and push out the switch alright so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so this is the switch you wanna apply a light pressure not too much just a very light pressure pry this out right here and you have three of them you need to pry so you're gonna pry one right here another one right here and another one right here and keep on working your way around it. It's all over, but <laughs> I got it out anyway. Sorry about that, the camera fall over. So I got this out. So you basically you need to pry these tabs a little by a little and push on it like this. All right, so you wanna push on it like this, up and pry on these tabs right here. All right. So you wanna get your um, new switch and um, it 
the immune switch right here. Port number is right here again. And um it can only go in one way. You can't put it in like this. Yeah, you can't put it in like this. You only can put it in like this, alright? Alright, so it's locked tight. Switch much better. It's firm. And we're gonna put it back um in the car. Alright. So you wanna put it where the where the button facing so you can't go in like this, so you can't make no mistake, alright? But anyway, the button needs to be facing this way. Alright? And I think I put it in wrong. So I'm gonna take it back off. Because I put it in wrong, so I'm gonna take it back off. Set it better, alright? So let's do this again to take this off. Pry this, push that out. Pry this, push that out. Pry this, push that out. So I'm not perfect. I'm not even gonna hide my mistake. I put the I put the button in like this, and it's a good thing that I do it. So now we can all learn together and know that um, you gotta put the it from this way all right um, let's see so there's a cutout right here which we need this to be where the cutout is so we need to put it like this Okay, so there we go. So that's much better. So when you get um when your switch is in, you want to make sure it's like this, all right? It pushed out that much, okay? So let's go to the other step. Then button line up properly. And um get your screws tighten this down. Guys, this is the old switch right here. Go ahead and unplug it. So you want to squeeze right here and unplug it. All right. All right. And um, I have all the pieces for the old switch, so I believe it can go back together and work. So you might want to try that before. Um, if you be able to, if you are able to find all the pieces of the switch. You can try to put it back together and see if it will work. As you see, I'm putting it back together with my one hand, so you can do it with both hands. And it should work. Alright. So let me put it back together so you guys can see. So before you go ahead and order your switch because your trunk not opening and your button feel loose, you might want to go ahead and try to take it apart first and see if you can put it back together. And um, right here is broken, so that's why it come up, it come loose. Because right here is broken. There's nothing to hold this clip on. Hold this right here. But these two down here is there are there so um I'm gonna go ahead and put this 
this and you guys can get creative you can put crazy glue or something glue the whole switch until it work until it break again then you just replace the switch if you want to go the cheap way out but lucky thing i got the switch so i just replace it and right here so i just connect it right here light up i can hear it work so I'm open and that's it now it's time to put this back up all right Thank you guys for your love and support. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Help me help you. Peace out. See you next time.